All right, so we plug the car in. So we plug the car in. Perhaps. All right, let's see the screen. So the limit is set to 32, power, uh, 32 amps. I start the charging now. It starts slowly. Under the full load, maybe I will take a pointer. Under full load, we have uh, uh, 232 volts now, and 226 is a grid monitoring shedding level. 32 amps maximally and 31,3 actual. Okay, let's let's try to cause the um, grid monitoring reaction. I go to setup. Maybe I will switch this and I go to grid monitoring and I increase the sensitivity level over the actual load. So we have the grid monitoring on now and the power was reduced because the current is reduced now to 27. So it is shedded, it is throttled down. All right. Now I just decrease it. After a short time, it will just return to full power. Of course, every phase is of two phases. It is loaded is loaded uh, equally. It is connected here to 16 amps three phase connector, and this is how it looks like. If you would like to stop the charging before the car is full I should just switch this on so no full charging option and then when the axle will detect the um, main stage of charging main part of charging is finished and now the system is finalizing the loading of battery the charging of battery it will switch it off so this is very good for commuting if I would like to charge it fully to reduce the risk for a battery, I should just leave the functions, the options like this, so battery care is on now. So during the finalizing stage, it will just reduce the current and keep the current uh, below the maximum possible current to maintain the voltage per cell at about 4 volts, not 4.1 or 4.12. There is another function, revive balancing. This is used for impulse balancing, impulse charging the battery. If you think that your battery is, is imbalanced, it is a very good idea just to start this during the night because this takes about 10 hours. All right, so you see now my car is charging with the speed of, of about seven kilowatts. It simulates it simulates a uh, uh, single onboard charger with 6.6 .6 kilowatt capability. Please notice that the speed is bigger than the 6.6 .6 because the voltage is slightly boosted. Now, of course, we have a um, huge load, so the voltage dropped a bit because if I stop the charging, you will see that the voltage we have now on the out ready to output is 248. This is about 10 volts higher than the real voltage which comes from the plug but this is also the important function of, of this charger boosting of voltage this accelerates uh, charging over any other concurrent charger 